Please like and subscribe, guys. Appreciate it. Today I got a special one for you. <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you the dual disc setup that I have put on my bike. Um, I'll try to be explaining everything. Uh, I'll be taking everything apart, showing you the tools that I'll be using, trying to explain myself a little better here, but vocally for you guys. But uh, I'm going to have a drink here, smoke, and uh, explain what's going on here. This is going to be a multi-video, guys. Right here, I'm showing I'm going to be using that same tire, just adding a rotor, a couple new rotors, um, removing everything, removing the lines, get the brakes out of the way. You know, <clears throat> we're doing a full install. Uh, I'm using an old school 06 V-Rod setup, <clears throat> which looks about an inch lower. But with my dampeners in it, I actually extend it to a full range of travel. So what I'm doing here is removing everything, removing the bolts, taking out my brakes. I'll be using different brakes. I got a pair of uh, trike, so baggers and trikes from like, I think it was like a 2010 maybe newer 2014 trike but I got those uh, I got those uh, brakes uh, I just got had to buy pads and stuff for them but I think the whole setup dual disc with the brakes on eBay was like a hundred bucks 110 bucks or some shit so all I had to do is rebuild them and clean them I didn't have to even rebuild them they were good to go just clean them up So obviously we don't want to be banging out on our bolt, but you know, I'm just tapping it through, showing you guys. It's more or less showing the, the people that haven't worked on their bike before and actually showing other people how easy this could be. But when you are working on suspension, you want to be, uh, you don't want to be a newbie. We'll say that because the suspension is, without that, you'd be fucking hitting concrete. So you better be, good at what you're doing and thorough or your shit's gonna be fucked and then your life will be in jeopardy so if you ever see oil spots underneath your forks when you're done you're gonna have to remove it uh, tighten up the bolts on the bottom put silicone do whatever you have to do but never never have half-ass shocks So this is a brand new paint job. I was kind of sketchy on this because I'm trying to do it with one hand and hold the camera. But right there, I put it down. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to fuck my paint job up. All because I'm trying to show you guys this shit, but I'm doing it for myself too. Obviously, just don't want to mess up anything. I should have... <clears throat> With new paint, a lot of times, like shops and stuff, they'll use two people to do something like this. So they don't want to fuck nothing up. Or maybe not a lot, but I know a couple that do. So, right now, I've pretty much removed everything so then I could loosen up the triple trees and uh, get these forks out what is that 516 Allen I will be putting the manual in the description like I always do, so you can always refer back to the manual if you have a Dyna.
<clears throat> see I put the chair underneath there because I didn't want it to slide out and hit the ground I didn't have anybody to help me and if you do loosen it up and you don't have hands or anything below it that thing will come smashing down on your foot and if you don't have your bike positioned right have the weight distributed right the bike could go back on you so make sure your bike is secure so usually I would have a vice to do something like this but I may have had a vice but I didn't bolt it in I just put a towel over it and I kept it loose and then I just wedged so like I don't know you would want to wrap it in rubber or something but I definitely didn't tighten the vice I just held it in there with the towel and then just put my foot over it and popped it put it in a bind a little bit without trying to mess it up what was funny was these were on I bought them on eBay these lowers and it said powder coated newly fresh powder coated lowers and when I put a little bit of brake clean it fucking just took off the shit it, they just put spray paint on the fucking things and they called it powder coat anyways I removed that bolt <clears throat> That's the big bolt that I wish I was able to run in the bike, but what we're gonna have to do is run the smaller one. I'll explain that later in the video though. So I have the three inch um, tube add, like the extensions for the tubes right there. They're okay. I would like to get some gold tubes or the black tubes or something else. So, if you have a set, shoot them my way. So I have all the race tech stuff in there. Gold emulators. Everything's all set up. See, the bike was all set up already, but it has about a hundred 10 horsepower um, about the same thing torque and the whole thing was changed the clutch all that stuff but the basket of course wasn't I blew that out now the inner baskets not changed either I really need to take my primary cover back off and get that inner clutch changed but that'll be another day for another video more money so I got that 12 millimeter right here. Gonna get this thing off. Oh, okay, I don't have a vise. I have my 36. So I just got it gently pressed up against the 36. You can remove the teeth on the 36. Um, so then it doesn't bite. Anyways, there I go, removing all the fluid. Trying to pump out the rest of it. Now that I have all the fluid or most of it removed, I'll start popping out these caps. These caps will not be used on the it's a little bit different the caps are a little bit different the V rods are much bigger not bigger but like they're a little bit wider <coughs> and they have a set screw so it's a little bit different style but pretty much the same So remove the dust cover, get in there, remove the clip, pop that out with the screwdriver. Then we're gonna start banging the little bastard out. You already know what that's about. As soon as that redheaded stepchild's out of there, then you're on to the next thing. Pulling all the seals off and whatnot. These are all gonna be throwaway, but you do not wanna remove get rid of everything just yet. 
sometimes you run into a fuck up and you'll have to use one of the old pieces or something but it's much better than spending another $60 or $50 on a set just to get one ring. I've never had to reuse this shit, but... So, remove that dampener. The little bottom piece spacer for the dampener. Clean the tubes out. So if you need to go take them to your local car wash or whatever, go get them all cleaned up. I use about fucking four cans of Brake Clean and just keep cleaning it. If you have something to check, uh, a wheel balancer or something, you can put these on there or on a lathe or something, and you can put your mic on there, make sure that they're straight. Truth be told, these have been in an accident, so I should be using new tubes, but they're pretty good, they're straight. And I didn't check them to see if they're true, but they're pretty straight. Man, I really do a number here. Just clean, 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 clean. <clears throat> so you can adjust these uh, on the gold emulators or on the website, the Race Tech website. You can go read up on it, but it's like three turns. Um, I've messed with it before from one turn to four turns, but I leave it at the recommended just about three turns, I think, if that's what I remember. But pretty much it's just whatever they recommend. Yeah, so three. They were already set up, but I was just double checking and also wanted to show you guys. Those gold emulators always trip me out. I think they split apart. As far as the spacers, I just don't like other things rubbing on each other, so I'll always put like a spacer. Um, but here I explain. Okay, let me see if I could do this real on. quick so, for you guys. <laughs> I want to explain myself the best as possible. The best is, yeah, whatever. I'd like to explain I say myself that shit. the best that I can, if possible, to give you guys the most information out of this video. So, I'm going dual disc on my bike. No shit. We have the new, which is the old style, <coughs> dual disc V-Rod. I think 2006, maybe 08. Maybe it's a... I think it's a 06 to 2010. Anyways, dual it disc. It might be 04 to 06. -Rod. I don't know. The V-Rod is about one inch shorter than the standard shock that's on the but bike. But you get the one inch in the dampener. This would be the right side. So the right shock here 
where it's going to bring us to a dual disc. What we're trying to do is it actually doesn't when go I any lower. Install the dampeners. I noticed that the dampener on the V-Rod setup has a Allen which is much much smaller than the 12 millimeter hex. It's like a 8 millimeter hex and it's a 8 millimeter 1.25 uh, thread or whatever. So having the two different shits here I'm using the tubes with a bigger hole and a bigger shit here so that tube down there is for the V-Rod dampener which is much skinnier allows less fluid and it's not as long so it allows less travel I wanna go with my stock ones I don't have a lathe here um, at my shop but what I got going here is this is the extra travel that you get and the extra oil capacity that you get this is out of my 2014 FX DC and this is the original one that's in there so the OD here fits the ID here on both of my tubes so that makes me not be able to use the smaller tubes also I wanted to use the bigger tubes with the more travel now the problem was there is I had to make sure that I wasn't going to top out and hit and make sure but if you see and if they were bolted up there there's I mean even if you went up quite a bit there's still a lot of room in there so I am putting these bigger dampeners in there my original ones inside of the dual disc uh, V-Rod front end <clears throat> now all I need to do is go and get a reducer I went to the store I got a couple of screws um, they're the M8 1.25 by 30 and we're going to tap it here we're gonna run it down yesterday I just sent I cut the bolt I put the bolt inside here I center punched it right here and then started drilling out from a small one and try to be as even as possible back and forth you want it even as possible I don't have a drill press so I got it per I mean it's not mine's not perfect <clears throat> but I think it's gonna be good and with the extra little lip hanging up it gives it gives it a little oops so I could adjust it on how high it was but it's all flush right there I'll clean it off with the uh, my wire wheel and uh, or my grinder clean it off sand it off and um, obviously would not with this on and um, I'll have that tapped to this thread right here and I will run this in and there'll be grease uh, red loctite or it'll be red loctite a lot of it a little tiny grease and on the very end where the copper washer is going to be I'm going to put a little bit of silicone and <clears throat> we're going to install these and we're going to put these dual discs on there and we're going to get the full travel out of there and yeah everything's going to be cool and they'll just be a little bit shorter of a shock but tell you the truth this seems like quite more of a quality shock for some reason because I mean tell me if I'm wrong or whatever but it came with like 
ones with set screws in here. The little covers had set screws. Uh, what else was different? Yeah, it seemed like it just it seemed like a pretty quality shock actually <coughs> for the stuff that came off of there. It's actually. Anyways, we're gonna go back on the there same with that same stuff. Is the original um, ones that come B-Rod, off the bike, not the Dyna. So they're not so shorter. It'll be more of a B rod front end. Longer with the Dyna in a part. It's better. Uh, it's full so extension. It'll be Dyna tube. Dyna dampener. It's all 2014 FXD. B rod bolt. And it has. It'll be just the my race tech B rod lowers. And we're gonna be using the V rod. <coughs> Come on, say uh, it. Fucking. Come on, say it. Bottom. What is it called? Uh, what is it called? Front fork. Come on, come on. What is it called? Big And we're gonna use the inner front fork lower. You know what it's called? From the Dyna. What do you call so, that? You don't even know what to call that. The all inner. the guts is the Dyna. So the only thing that we're changing in the whole this whole thing is the cover. Change this uh, tube and change the bolt here. But what I do wish is I wish I had this in a lathe and I can make a spacer. Uh, if I see, I have. I some, took it to my buddy's lathe. That uh, fucking epoxy bolt in there is right hard now. as fuck. It's like 24 hour epoxy setup. And the epoxy but didn't work. I think I'm gonna take fuck. it out and clean it. And I had to have buddy my buddy tack it. Throw a couple of welds. Around the epoxy it. made as it hard because I didn't get it all cleaned off. It made it hard <coughs> for my buddy to around weld. this right here, seamless. But the uh, other one, I want to put a tack on her because I don't want it to come off. And I fucking am not comfortable with any glues. Definitely don't try to glue so, anything. That's what we will do. So stay tuned for that. That's what we have going as of right now. So the next bolt will be this one. As far as finding a, a reducer, tab, I looked everywhere. Uh, and center punch, and we're going to drill this out. Thank you guys for showing up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Go watch it now. The gas station out. Please like and subscribe.